what is up collector crew shiny collector 98 here and today we're going to be going over how to hunt the pokemon in pokemon emerald version that you would otherwise soft reset for in case you're wondering why wouldn't you just soft reset for them that is because there is a problem with pokemon emeralds random number generator i've done a whole video about it you can find a link to it in the description or in the end screens but without further ado let's begin the first and easiest way to hunt some of these Pokemon is through Runaways. In Runaways, you simply encounter the Pokemon, run away from the Pokemon, leave and re-enter the room, re-battle the Pokemon, and repeat. This ensures that you are hitting more and more frames instead of just the first few that you would normally hit by soft resetting. The Pokemon that can be shiny hunted this way are Rayquaza, Regice, Regirock, Registeel, Groudon, Kyogre, Latios, Latias, Ho-Oh, Lugia, Mew, and Deoxys. Here is exactly how you do this for each of them. This next hunt applies specifically to the pseudo Wudo in the Battle Frontier. For this hunt, you'll need a Pokemon that knows Self-Destruct and a Whalmer Pale. Recommended to make this hunt go the fastest, you would need a Weezing, a Master Ball, and a Mock Bike. You'll want to make sure that Weezing is the only Pokemon in your party with Self-Destruct on the first move slot. Enter the battle using the Whalmer Pale, use Self-Destruct once you are in battle, and then you'll be respawned to the Pokemon Center. From there, get on your Mock Bike, Go back to Sudowoodo and do the same thing. A common misconception about the Runaways and Sudowoodo hunts are that you need to leave your game on throughout the whole hunt. This isn't necessarily true. As long as your hunting sessions are at least an hour, you should be good because it's very unlikely to hit the same frames. The next hunt is for the Hoenn starters in Pokemon Emerald. For this hunt, you'll want to save in front of the bag and reset at 5 different speeds for about 10 resets each. A good time marker for this is the Route 101 sign that drops down. For the first speed, you want to go into the bag before the sign drops down at all. For the second speed, go into the bag as soon as the sign starts to drop. For the third set of resets, you will want the sign to be about halfway down. On the fourth set, you will want to time it so that the sign has just finished coming down. On the fifth set, you will want it so that the sign has finished coming down and stayed there for a brief moment. If you don't find a shiny in any of those resets, start a new game and repeat the process. However, if you get an uncatchable shiny Zigzagoon, keep that save file because this means that you have an early shiny frame and it is possible to get a shiny starter on that save. Through this last method, you can hunt for the Why Not Egg, Kecleon, Lilip, Anorith, Beldum, Electrode, Voltorb, Chikorita, Cyndaquil, and Totodile. Although some of these may be available throughout the game, you cannot shiny hunt them until you have access to the battle frontier and record a battle video. This is because the battle video advances frames. Instead of using the ones that the game would normally use from the startup point, it would take the ones used during the battle and then continue from there. So for these hunts, you would play the video, check the Pokemon, reset, and repeat. And you don't have to play the whole video, you can cancel out as soon as it starts playing. I'd recommend doing about 20 soft resets as fast as you can this way, and then doing about 30 a little bit slower. If you don't find a shiny in any of these 50 soft resets, go to the Battle Frontier, play your video, record a new video, and do another 50 soft resets. If you repeat this process, then something will eventually shine, and congratulations, you found a loophole to Pokemon Emerald's soft resetting problem. After you find a shiny this way, you want a new battle video if you want to go for a second one using the same method. This is because if you keep the same video, the shinies you find from it will be RNG clones, which are somewhat illegitimate, but if you want to hunt them that way, that's totally up to you. As far as I know, this method hasn't been used yet to get a shiny, so I wasn't sure if it was possible, 
I did some research, accumulated some data, and I put what I found in an Excel spreadsheet that will be in the description below. Sadly, there is one Pokemon that we cannot hunt in Pokemon Emerald version. This is Cast Form. And that's how you hunt scripted Pokemon in Emerald version. If you haven't seen my other video about Emerald's RNG overall, there will be a link right here, you can click that, or you can click right here and subscribe to me. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, keep it calm, cool, and collected.